Leave me now. Are you going to talk about this or please not? Please, just go. Is that what you want? Yes, it is what I want, so please, if, if you care about me at all, then please just go. I can't. I have two years to live. I need to work. I love you. This is a marvelous love story and incredibly intense and challenging the extreme. How does it feel to be part of this story? Well, it was a very, it was a very special story to be telling because um, you're telling a story about real people who um, lived these uh, phenomenal lives um, and they're both alive and at some point you know that they're going to see the film so it really raises the stakes and it's not a film that you take on lightly because you both, Eddie and I, wanted to do justice to, to Jane and Stephen and, and we got to know them and their family and were really welcomed into their lives so it was very important to us that we conveyed them and inhabited them in, in the most truthful way we could. You, you, that, you, you've leapt to a, that's a false conclusion. I want us to be together for as long as we've got, and if that's not very long, well, then that's just how it is. It'll have to do. You don't know what's coming. It'll affect everything. This movie is about the, the human being behind the icon, and uh, Stephen Hawking is an icon of hope. What do you think about him? Well, absolutely. I mean, he's a man who's just never given up. Or, you know, and, and, and doesn't take his life for granted. And I think that's something that we're always going to learn from. You know, Stephen is in the most difficult circumstances physically, but he doesn't let that define him. He doesn't, he doesn't pity himself. And, um, and that's something I consistently found in making the film, that both of these people were very unsentimental. You know, they were always, they're just true survivors. <laughs> Do you see how the men's shirt fronts and the bow ties, how they glow more than the women's dresses? Yes. Do you know why? Why? Tide. The washing powder. The fluorescence in the washing powder is caught by the UV light. Why do you know that? <laughs> when stars are born and when they die, they emit UV radiation. So if, if we could see the night sky in the ultraviolet light, then almost all the stars would disappear, and all that we would see are these spectacular births and deaths. I reckon it would look a little... Like that. James said to Stephen, OK, I'll marry you and I'll take this ride with you and that was essential to Stephen. Absolutely and that's such a great way of putting it. It was, you know, for them at that point they were so young when they met it did feel like, you know, they were just going to jump off a cliff together in some ways when, when someone is diagnosed with a disease that's so devastating but you're deeply in love with each other you just, you know, they made a decision just to go for it and we'll, we'll encounter each problem as it happens. And, um, and that immediately, when I read the script, I thought this is a story about love. It's a love in the deepest, most profound sense. He would never have achieved what he did without the support of Jane. And you show that very well on screen. Well, I feel often with famous, successful people, there is someone in the background. It, it, it's, it's so common that it's a partnership you know, um, that there's a support mechanism for someone if they're out there, you know, being, whether it's a politician or a very famous person, it, it often takes two people. And so um, it felt very important to show that there, as Stephen said himself, you know, he had this incredible relationship that, that, that helped him survive. What if I reverse time to see what happened at the beginning of time itself? Wind back the clock. Wind back the clock. Keep going. I don't know how. Yet. Keep winding. Where's he? It's called motor neuron disease. Life expectancy is two years. I want us to be together for as long as we've got. It'll affect everything. You don't realize what lies ahead. This is going to be a very heavy defeat. 
I love him and he loves me. We're going to fight this illness together. 